Valorant critical error has occurred and the process must be terminated. If you're getting this error, then I will be going over a solution in order to fix this. So here's what we're gonna do. First of all, we're gonna uninstall Riot Vanguard. You can do this by searching for control panel right here, open this up, and then here click on uninstall program. Now search for Riot Vanguard. So either type the R or here search for Riot, and then you should see Riot Vanguard. Right click on it, click on uninstall, click on yes, and here you say, yes, I want to continue. Now wait for it to be uninstalled, and when it has been uninstalled, you can close this down. So what we're now gonna do is we're gonna open up our Valorant. Log into your account, and then here you should see your game requires a restart. Now restart your computer, and when you've restarted it, your Valorant will automatically download Riot Vanguard once again. Now let's say that didn't work, then here's what we need to do. We're gonna open up our file explorer, then go to this PC. Once you're in this PC, go to your C drive, then go to Riot Games, double click on Valorant, click on Live, click on Shooter Game, click on Binaries, and then 64. Now scroll down and here you should see Valorant Win 64 Shipping. You need to right click on this and then click on Properties. Now go to Compatibility, and then here, what you all need to do is click on enable this program as an administrator. If you have enabled this option then click on apply and now click on OK. Close this down and now please open up your Valorant and check if it works. Now the last thing that you must try is to open up your task manager. So just right click on your taskbar and then click task manager. And now you should search for MSI Afterburner. Afterburner. So look if you have the MSI Afterburner. Now this will It will look like this. So here you see MSI Afterburner. If you have this on then this will cause Valorant to be crashing. Now if you have found it just click on it. So you click on it and then here click on end task. Now if you've done that check if your Valorant works and because it should work and the problem should be fixed. Now I hope this video helped you and I'd say thank you for watching.